grow, grow, grow and learn. Come and read with me. Let's get together and have fun. Come and read with me. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Storytime with Mrs. Big. How are you all today? Let's move along to our next story for Charlie and Mouse Adventures. And the story is called Charlie and Mouse and Grumpy by Laurel Snyder, illustrated by Emily Hughes. Join Charlie and Mouse in their second book as they decide who is big and who is medium, pounce on someone, sing the wrong songs, and make a blanket feel better. Charlie and Mouse and their grandfather share a weekend of play, laughter, and togetherness in the second book in this irresistible series. I absolutely agree. Charlie and Mouse and Grumpy, written by Laurel Snyder, illustrated by Emily Hughes. Contents, medium, pouncing, songs, goodbye. Medium, there was a knock at the door. There was a knock at the door. It was Grumpy, Grumpy. Charlie and Mouse, cried Grumpy. You are getting so big. Yes, said Charlie, I am getting so big. I can read and swim and eat three hot dogs. That is a lot of hot dogs. And said Grumpy, Charlie nodded with mustard. Mouse shook his head. I am not getting big. Well, said Grumpy, you are bigger than you were. You are not getting small. No, said Mouse, I am not getting small. Then what are you getting? asked Grumpy. Mouse thought about it. I am getting medium, he said. Aha, said Grumpy. What is it like being medium? When you are medium, said Gr Mouse, you can read some books, but also people read books to you. What else? asked Grumpy. Mouse thought again. When you are medium, you can swim, but your mom sits on the steps and watches just in case. Ah, said Grumpy, it sounds very nice to be medium. It is, said Mouse. And how many hot dogs can you eat? Asked Grumpy, when you are medium. You can eat, still eat three hot dogs, Mouse said, but not with mustard. Mustard is not medium. That makes sense, said Grumpy. Grumpy carried his bag inside. Charlie helped. Mouse helped too. When they were done, Charlie said, do you know what? No, said Grumpy. No, said Mouse. They did not know what. It is almost lunchtime, said Charlie. When it comes to hot dogs, said Grumpy, I am medium too. Pouncing. Charlie woke up. Mouse woke up. Grumpy is here, said Charlie. Should we pounce him? asked Mouse. Of course, said Charlie. They snuck downstairs. Grumpy was in the kitchen. Grumpy was eating dog coffee. <clears throat> Mouse looked sad. Why are you sad? Grumpy asked Mouse. We wanted to pounce you, said Mouse. So pounce me, said Grumpy. We can only pounce when you are sleeping, said Charlie. It is a rule, said Mouse. That made sense, said Grumpy. But you will have to get up very early to catch me sleeping. After breakfast, Charlie and Mouse drew robots with robot dogs. Grumpy sat in the armchair. He watched Charlie and Mouse draw. He read a book, then his nose began to snore. Grumpy, asked Mouse. Grumpy's nose kept snoring. Hey, Grumpy, shouted Charlie. Grumpy sat up. Huh, what was it? Mouse laughed. You are taking a nap, said Charlie. I was not taking a nap, said Grumpy. No way. It looked like a nap, said Mouse. It looked a lot like a nap, said Charlie. I was just resting my eyes, said Grumpy. Really, said Charlie? If you say so, said Mouse. Charlie and Mouse drew robot cats to go with the robot dogs. Grumpy's nose began to snore again. Mouse set down his pencil. Charlie, 
Do you know what I'm thinking? Said Mouse. Yes, said Charlie. I do. What do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. <laughs> Songs. Mom and Dad were missing. Mom and Dad were on a date. It was Grumpy's night. Grumpy night. Who likes pizza? Asked Grumpy. Everyone, said Charlie, with extra cheese, said Mouse. They ate pizza. Who likes forks? Asked Grumpy. Everyone, said Charlie. I'll get the flashlight, said Mouse. They build a fort. Who likes movies? Asked Grumpy. Everyone, said Charlie, but not too scary, said Mouse. They watched a movie about a not too scary dragon. Who likes to go to bed, said Grumpy. Asked Grumpy. Now you are being silly, said Charlie. Nobody likes to go to bed. It looks like Mouse does, said Grumpy. That is different, said Charlie. He is not in bed. You are right about that, said Grumpy. We should take him up. We should take him there. I'll help, said Charlie. Now you have to sing the good night song, said Charlie. It is a rule. I am not a very good singer, said Grumpy. Please, said Charlie. I will try, said Grumpy. Grumpy sang. When he was finished, Charlie said, You are not a very good singer, Grumpy. I told you so, said Grumpy. Also, that it is not the right song, said Charlie. Which song is the right song, asked Grumpy. It is the one about painting ponies? Is it the one about painting ponies? No, that is not the right song, said Charlie. Is it the one about buying a bird, asked Grumpy. No, that is not the right song, said Charlie. Well, is it the one about jumping in a river, asked Grumpy. No, that is not the right song either, said Charlie. I know, said Charlie. I will sing the song. Then you will know it. Okay, said Grumpy. Charlie sang. Can you sing it again, asked Grumpy. I did not quite get it at all. Charlie sang the song again. Most of it, anyway. Goodbye. Charlie and Mouse watched Grumpy Pack. Blanket watched, too. They were all very quiet. Mouse sighed. Blanket is sad. Why is Blanket sad? asked Grumpy. Blanket is sad because of the rain, said Mouse. Oh, said Grumpy. I thought maybe it was something else. Grumpy zipped up his bag. Mouse sighed again. Blanket is still sad. Well, said Grumpy, it is still raining. Yes, said Mouse. Also, Blanket wants a cookie. I don't have any cookies, said Grumpy. I didn't think so, said Mouse. Grumpy wheeled his suitcase away. Charlie followed Grumpy. Mouse followed Grumpy. They stood at the door. Grumpy put on his shoes. Grumpy put on his hat. Grumpy hugged Charlie and Mouse. You know, he said, sometimes it has to rain so that you can be happy when the sun comes out again. Did you ever think about that? Mouse thought about that. No, Mouse said. Blanket would be happy if it was sunny all the time. Blanket likes the sun. Oh, said Grumpy. I guess I was wrong. Grumpy hugged Charlie and Mouse again. Grumpy said, don't get too medium. Okay, Mouse? Mouse nodded. Grumpy opened the door. Charlie said, you know what, Grumpy? What? asked Grumpy. I don't think Mouse was talking about Blanket, said Charlie. I don't think Blanket is the sad one. You don't? said Grumpy. No, said Charlie. I think he was talking about me. Dear Grumpy, you forgot your toothbrush. Charlie and Mouse, P.S. Come back soon. Thank you, Laurel for sending me these wonderful selections for me to read. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. So much for watching. Until next time. See you soon. Bye now.